Hello, my name is Nathan, and welcome to this Blender Quick Tip on how to use vertex color masks in cycles. So recently, I made this low poly robot for a friend, and here's what it looks like textured. And I wanted to take these green and red faces and make them glow. I could have just gone into my materials and created new materials for each face, but since I'd already painted the colors, I wanted to see if I could use those colors and just make them glow. And I found a really cool way to do that using the vertex colors. So here's what it looks like rendered. So we're just going to be recreating this effect on a more simple object. So let's get started. I have another scene prepared with just a simple box with some inset panels that's got some colored faces and some radioactive logos to just say that, hey, this has an image texture on it. So to begin, we're going to go into our vertex paint. We're going to select all these faces that we want to select. So if you can't see these um, lines to select faces, it's because you have this face mask toggle turned off. So just click it to turn it on. And then just hold shift and right click all the faces that you want to mask. So once you have all these faces selected, you can then I'm going to just change my color to black, and I'm going to paint them all black. Make sure to get all the sides. And there you go. They're all painted. So right here in our object data, it has created a new vertex color data slot. So we're going to be able to use this in the node editor. So let's just switch to solid and object mode again. And come over to the node editor. So if I just press Shift A to add a new node, in the input there's now a vertex colors option with our color that group that has been created. Right here, this color output, you can plug it into the diffuse, and you can actually see the black where we've painted it. So I'm just going to use my image texture again, but we're going to mix, we want to make them glow. So we're going to use an emission shader and a mix shader, because we want to have a mix between these two. So right now, it's just perfectly mixing them. So let's try using this color as the factor of the mix. And it's gotten it backwards. So let's switch this, because we use black as the color for the mask. And since the mix shader uses black to white for the two shader inputs, or 0 to 1, we need to switch these two around. Then increase the strength of the emission shader and plug the image texture into the color slot. So thanks for watching this quick tip.